straight, straight off the bat. Um, Jamaica being a person, <laughs> normally, of course. Sir. Um, how pleased are you to be back here in Brussels competing in what looks a very interesting world? Good morning. I'm very pleased to be here in second time in Brussels, uh, Sierra the 200. It's a great experience and to be able to run the 100 meters. I'm very pleased to be here. Is there a particular time you have in mind, or is it just you know the end of the season and looking forward to your role as well? I'm going to tell you for a good time tomorrow. I cannot say a time now, but every time I get tomorrow, I will really appreciate it. But I'm looking forward to go faster. Are you aware of the code here? No, I don't know. Wilfred, do you want to tell them? No. Okay. 10 seconds by Shelley and Fraser Price. Okay. So, um, you've run faster this year, but it's, as you say, coming to the end of the season. Do you think that's within your possibilities? I mean, I am good, the uh, is good, so tomorrow will be a tomorrow, so tomorrow will speak for itself. You're obviously still running very hard in the zoo, but how difficult now is it to keep on, keep on going? We're now three weeks after Rio, I mean, emotionally and physically. It is hard, also hard to be a champion, it's hard so, to compete and win a lot, so all I have to do is just focus on my control. Do you feel the pressure already in being a champion and being expected? I would say it was the fun thing. I just hope to manage the crowd and the people and the fans. That's all the pressure I have. Um, Elaine, you are undefeated for 100 meters this year. Back in the last 20, 100 meters, you've only really lost twice, uh, I believe. How do, you, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this, this dominance um, in an event? That of the last year, you we still, you know, felt that you were learning. I think that this year has been a year for me. Looking back to previous and the years that I have competed, I mean, I think Marvelous feeling. Hey, we're expecting the same to 
stop next year. You're going to make as well hundred dollars. Are you the female? Do you say involve dominating strength? <laughs> Honestly, you say is saying he's the best. I mean, he has done so much for the country and himself. So I want to say I'll be the next to say more. I'll be the next Indian Thompson. Do you expect the, the rivalry with Daphne to dominate the next couple of years, to print over the 100 to 200? Or, or is there anybody else you see as well being the rival? Well, Elaine and Daphne are competing with our rival. We have other country women, talented women out there. So we both are rival, yes, but we have others coming up and looking forward to the rival as well. That is a tough question. We <laughs> and our Creole is Patois. So <laughs> speaking with her is really hard because she speaks, I mean, like. Dutch, French. I don't know if you like what she's speaking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's kind of hard. <laughs> Only thing I can say is hi and whatever. <laughs> so you call it fairly um, perfunctory. You don't talk about stuff going on in your personal lives or no. uh, stuff like that. <laughs> no. Elaine, <laughs> <laughs> um, it might be an awkward question for you, but I'm pretty sure you're going to. Shannon Fraser Price has been one of the best top prisoners for a few years here. Your coach did confirm at the Olympics that she will no longer be a part of your team in the camp. What can you say about impact, influence she has had on you as an upcoming sprinter, and how do you feel about the move? <laughs> <laughs> Since I've been at MVP slash UTEC, I don't look up to Shannon Fraser Price so much. She's my role model. She has taught she has taught me so much right now. I think motivating me that today that simply that somewhat is where I'm at today. So <laughs> the move that she has made, I don't think I have nothing much to say that between she and her coach, but she has done so much for the country as well, and she has so much in store to go on the track and do. So she's what she is, and let us see what happens in the future. Um, long season, Elaine. I'm pretty sure you're looking forward to going home to Manchester and celebrating your, your titles um, finally. With your people? Yes, I mean, it's a long season. <coughs> Excuse me. After national trials, we normally come up and base in Italy, Venice, in Milano. So it's been a long season there, and they're going to the Olympics and then race tomorrow. So going back home, I'm looking forward to meeting with, with all the friends and family members. So I'm really excited going back home and eat some good food. <laughs> Just to be sure, you so you haven't been been home since Rio at all. You just came straight over to Europe after Rio. Yeah, I'm not. I've not been home as yet. No, expecting a big party today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that? There would have been some opportunity, even if it was only for a few days. Did your coach think it was going to be too distracting taking you home, especially with three weeks of the season left? I mean, I would say distracting, but I mean, to go back home would be a long trip and to back and forth. So, we're based in Europe and it's easy access to go to the meets, it's close, so to go back home would be a no no for me now. But do you expect your life to change back home? I wouldn't say change. I mean, it's going to be better in this place. Nothing is going to be changed. Brothers, sister? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I have five brothers and one small sister. Also brothers? Or no, I'm the only one. Yes. Well, when they grow up, they will know what they want to do.